almost done we're gonna vacuum kitchen is almost done too and then as you saw Frank is folding clothes my job is to wash clothes and then he folds it and then my job is to cook and then Frank cleans I mean no <laughs> he washes the dishes and then we both clean together Welcome back to our chain. <laughs> we got two new chains. So we got this one. This is a set from H&M. Uh, we'll show you the outfit of the day later on, but we have these two chains here, which I'm experimenting with some new looks. Um, but yeah, welcome back to our life. <laughs> Tell them what we're gonna do today. Tell them. Okay, so today, guys, we're gonna go to a farmer's market, which I'm excited about. I've never been to one, but I think it just sounds so nice and we can get produce and stuff like that so i'm excited for that we can get some pictures so yeah sounds good even though i didn't bring my camera but it's okay it's fine iphone and camera kim says iphones take better pictures we that's, that's a debatable topic but um we'll catch back with you guys when we get over there so cool they have they have plants over here which I'm very excited about I'm excited to go look at those now especially the orchids they look so cool there are so many tents really cool here and they're all super friendly yeah everybody's super down for you to pet their dog so it's it's nice it's cool yeah i want one but 
Look over there, Cuban sandwiches. That's where the money's at. Okay guys, so we got, I got a strawberry lemonade and Frank got a Arnold Palmer. Which is sweet tea and lemonade for you guys that don't know. And yeah. it was like, honestly yeah. really, really good prices. Everything seems like really affordable here, which I didn't think that farmer's markets were like actually pretty affordable. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice surprise. And this place is laid out real, real nice and so many dogs again. It's, it's awesome, wow. really yeah. cool. Have any, um, do you guys have anything that's a, like spicy, like has any sort of yeah, shape to it? I do. Guys, so we got like um, a jalapeno cheese, I think. It has chiles in it, yeah. It's so good. He says it's good to like melt, so we're excited to try some stuff with it. Yeah. Yeah. Exciting. Frank wants to make steaks for the first time and we're gonna go to my mom's house and we're gonna make like mashed potatoes, asparagus, and then we're gonna make it with the steak. So we're gonna record that for you guys because it's Frank's first time. Yeah, come along with me. I'm going to take uh, my dad Gordon Ramsay's recipe here. Very, yeah. very exciting. So we're excited for that, but we'll show you guys when we get there. Hi guys, so we finally, <laughs> so we just got to my mom's house. We um, changed clothes so we can be comfortable. Frank bought flowers. So join us as Frank cooks. Bye. Dale bro, come on man, I'm trying to eat. Yeah, 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 just move over, it's okay. He's coming, baby. He's coming. Hurry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom would let me die. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so I know why you hiding behind the door. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Faithful Cooking with Frank. <laughs> so today we're gonna make three steaks. They are mm -mm, a New York strip steak using Gordon Ramsay's recipe. Pretty basic steak recipe. It's got coarse sea salt, pepper, you gotta let the steaks get to room temperature. Um, over here I have cast iron. Mm -hmm. uh, heard good things about this. I've been seasoning this pan for a long time. This needs to be really hot so we can get a good sear on these steaks. I am and then I'm making We're not talking about mashed that. potatoes. <laughs> and asparagus. So I'm generously gonna coat these top, bottom, and sides with pepper and this coarse salt because Gordon Ramsay says 35% of the spices are lost as soon as it hits the pan. So I'm gonna make sure to season it very, very generously. Okay guys, so here we have the asparagus. We're gonna make mashed potatoes and Frank is All right, boiling so up. cast iron is starting to smoke. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this down from high to medium high. 
here we have our steaks generously seasoned because they lose a lot of their um, they lose a lot of their seasoning and color while they're cooking. And Gordon Ramsay says we have to lay it down away. That sizzle means that the pan is hot enough and we're in good shape. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it every minute um, and we will go from there. Hopefully we got good color on the other side. Let's see how that's looking. Yeah, great color. Looking good. As Gordon Ramsay says, no color, no flavor. In good shape. All right, in good shape. Here. We are going to lift <laughs> <laughs> lots of smoke. Flip it back over. We're basically dying. We're not dying. Good sound. Good color. So now, in the last minute or so, and everybody basically wants it between medium and medium well. So texture is going along really well. Now we're gonna add two cloves of garlic. We're going to add a bit of butter so we can baste. And we're gonna add thyme. Careful, if you cook this, guys, you might die. <laughs> All right, and then we got a base. Make sure you get, make sure you get this garlic in there. And this one's almost ready to come off. Make sure you get the fat cooked as well here on the sides. This is my mom, and we're listening to worship right now. And then Frank over there. Okay guys, so we're done eating. Yeah, we're done eating. Tell them, babe. Tell them. So, Gordon Ramsay said that the steak would lose about 35% of its seasoning. And so unfortunately I seasoned it about 150%. <laughs> so after everything it was, it was pretty, honestly pretty salty and peppery. So pretty over seasoned and a little overcooked, but it was a learning lesson. Yeah, and it was his first time, so. Yeah, I just didn't want to under season it, but I think I did too much so learning lesson for next time we don't need to season it too much we'll let the steak do its thing and listen to kimmy because she did call it in the beginning she said that looks a little hmm, a little too much babe. Little too much and i love salt but you know yeah she's not supposed to have too much salt anyways yeah. so but we're taking it to go i'll see how i can salvage whatever's left mm -hmm. but i assure you next time i'm gonna have the best steak i'm gonna have gordon calling me um, and tell them, so work at the restaurant. You're yeah, gonna yeah, deny yeah. the job. Yeah, I'm position. just not gonna be able to do it. But for now, we will enjoy our salty steak, and <laughs> we will see you next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. We are gonna start posting every week, mm -hmm. God willing. And until then, see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, guys, it's been a couple of days, and we're back at it. Frank's making a round two. <laughs> Redemption round, right here, <laughs> right now. This time we're at our apartment. My mom's here again. <laughs> we're making corn on the cob, steak, and mashed potatoes. This time's gonna be good. Okay guys, so here is our meal. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Feel like I feel like I did better this time, so we'll see. We'll see. We're gonna pray and then we'll get a first bite. <laughs> so we're gonna get his first bite. Right, here we go. Gonna cut it. Let's get a look. Yep, this is probably like medium, medium well. Mm -hmm. Let's get some of this juice. Mm. A lot better. Wait, very happy with that. Yeah. Very happy. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm.
All right, Kimmy's first bite. She's not a big steak fan, so yeah, she's gonna be honest with me. So good color. Okay, that one's pretty pink. Mm -hmm. All right. Happy with that? That's very good. I'm excited for those leftovers. 